Oh my goodness, we're on the last two days of my 90 day quest. So welcome to day number 89 of my daily mission to improve on communication, confidence, charisma, community fun, and cuddles, and a little bit of flirting too, you know. We gotta always be so much better about flirting. Whether you're single or in a relationship, flirting should never stop. So in all of these days of doing this message of something new, a new fresh topic, when I started, I really didn't know where I was going to go with this. Just like with my walking journey, I had no idea the impact that was going to have on me. And I am excited because every day I came up with a new topic fresh for that day. And I never pre-recorded. I didn't preset anything. I just did it and went for it. So what came to mind today was to talk about authenticity. You've been able to see me reveal more and more layers of myself and share more of who I am and what I represent, what matters to me, because I want to show you a side of someone so that you can start showing more of yourself. We need to be more authentic. I know I am not normal. I don't blend in. I've never wanted to, and I love it. And I think it's a lot of fun when you have people in your life, you just know when they show up. Like a friend of mine, boy, when she gets laughing, if you start hearing snorting sounds, she starts laughing all the way up into her sinuses, you know it's going to be a good time. I love to laugh and see who responds because I know people are watching the happy people in the room. And I really love to be able to just be silly. Like you catch me in a target kid section, I'm going to be pushing all of the little buttons, making everything go. I mean, hey, I still have stuffed animals. So I have always carried on the innocent side of me. You know, one of my mottos when I was in my Mary Kay business many, many moons ago was what are your little girl dreams? I wanted people to remember who are they? And what was it before they had to worry about bills, before they had to do the dishes, before they had to you know, work in a relationship? You just had your best friend and you ran around the playground. It was simple and easy and innocent. You played out in the forest and made mud pies and you had your invisible friends and you just had a great time. And that's what I want to bring back to our innocence, our authenticity. Even though we still have to do adulting, we need to go out and just have a great time. Lighten up, enjoy this gorgeous, glorious life that we have been given. And remember, you matter. You are the one that makes a difference. So I've had this t-shirt that I found, again, when I was digging through my memorabilia box that I just thought today was a perfect day to share it. So when I was probably like, third, fourth grade, it's probably third grade, I was getting dressed up for a fun thing with a friend. And back in those days, you could go in and get, you know, the iron-on t-shirts and everything. So my friend and I were wanting to dress up in a fun costume, and we came up with this idea. And the funny thing was, we told this guy how to spell the word weird. He argued with us and he spelled it the way he chose to, which of course was not correct. So the kids in school knew a lot better than the adult, but it actually added to it. So here is my shirt. As you can see, it was a little misspelled there, but it adds to what makes us so awesome. So we loved wearing our misspelled I'm weird shirt. And then on the back, it said wild thing. And this is so true. So I started this motto of my life back when I was extremely young. <laughs> and I was, yeah, I think that's like nine years old when I was wearing this. And I actually have a picture. So we'll see if it comes up. Me, we had uh, braided our hair the night before and let it be super curly. And then we got some long johns and we drew all over it them. And just remembering that fun innocence, that was me being authentic. I'm still that crazy, wild, fun person. I'm just doing it in adult look, adult attire. And so what is it that you could bring back to yourself that would make you more authentic? Or what makes you a unique individual? I want you to comment below, share, subscribe. And you know, of course, I always like those likes on my videos. So I know that you are enjoying yourself, checking out what it is that I have brewing up. Now, tomorrow is the last day of this wild and crazy journey. I don't know what I'm gonna do afterwards. Well, I do have an idea, I'll tell you about that. So you have to wait till tomorrow though. But right now I want you to stop and think, what makes you authentic?
What are parts of you that you've always loved and enjoyed? People have complimented you on. Even if it drives them crazy, what is it? You know, we need to get a little bit more easygoing, chill, like positive, and just be happy. We have so much to be thankful for. We have so many blessings. And the fact that you've cared enough to invest time and energy to watch these videos, listen to the random things that I've got to talk about and the very specific things that I've got to talk about. Because you know, I love to talk about sex, intimacy, friendship, fun, cuddles, confidence, and everything that we all want to talk about, but we don't really always know the right words. But what I want to hear from you is what makes you authentically you. We're going to talk one more day tomorrow to wrap up this big quest. And I have surprises for you, and I'm really excited. So thank you for being you. Thank you for adding so much inspiration and joy to me every single day. This is the first thought I start my day with, and I'm always so thrilled to see what I come up with. And I thank you for participating. I'll talk to you tomorrow.